welcome to the procrastinator my name is Jan and today we're playing evil genius now I'm looking here over at the barracks and you guys might have noticed it well something seems wrong there's a whole lot of uh, stuff missing over here and yes there is there's a whole lot of stuff missing what happened was I made a computer repair thingy basically what happened was that the computer hasn't been formatted in a while and it kind of brought on a few issues like the computer was running slow I had problems recording and playing games it just wasn't working well so I opted for a uh, complete format of the computer and I went and backed up all the important data as far as I knew there was the important data I went into the evil genius folder and found the save games turns out they weren't complete in there so we are setting back in time a few episodes which could be an issue not could be an issue is an issue therefore I am going to pick up the series from where we left off which is here and we're going to continue off and we are going to do a few things differently than we did them before. And we are going to, yeah, basically do a few things different than we did them before. We'll try to um, get the income in a lot faster and build up our base as fast as we can. I do apologize for this. It, it is an inconvenience, I know, and it's wasn't supposed to happen but there is not much we can do about it now we are going to uh Backup power drained. All power consuming objects offline. yes 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 if you could let that guy go in and build up the power generator we, we would be incredibly grateful I could technically put another one in there I won't needs a bit of space as well Object has been ordered. Oh, that was silly of me. Put Object in a few more control panes. Get that going again. Object has been ordered. And we're gonna need another power Object generator here confirmed. as well. We're not going to put in capacitors, then useless basically. At this point in the game. We were we also have to increase the size of our barracks right so basically what's going to happen is Object I'm gonna pause the episode here I'm gonna build up our base Object to what it was ordered. and then we will be back basically Object in a second or two for you guys yeah. hello guys and we're back to basically where we were um, not Completely because we just got a guard which we didn't have before, but I also already captured the technician. I rebuilt our base. I more or less built it like it was. Well, I did a few alterations. I went and built the um, the good room over here, the one that we kind of need. And I was just thinking of putting this maze somewhere, but I couldn't quite figure out where. It didn't really work out with that maze, because I forgot that it kind of has to, this would have to be open for it to be somewhere. Which isn't too good. So, let's see if we can just do that and call it a day. That would work. Sort of. I don't want it to be like that. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Um, can we put it in... No, it has to be in here. Well, then I guess we'll just put Object it over there and ordered. hope it does stuff. Uh, I changed a bit. I changed the layout of a few things here and there. Not really as much as um, I could have or should have, perhaps. But I added another room to the armory. Basically, extended the armory for uh, gun control because we're going to go on yellow alert, I think, quite immediately. I have also 
extended the uh, paddocks over here, added a few more rooms. We are now actually capable of currently holding 53 minions. We're not holding 53 minions just yet, but we are capable of it. We're also waiting for um, guys to be trained up a bit. I think we have a bit more money than we did before, simply because I've been stealing in a lot of places earlier. And a lot of our minions just died for no apparent reason. Or did I just not see an agent of justice? That's weird. It died from attrition, apparently. So we're gonna put it back to steel, because we need an income. If we're going to continue our evil operations, we're of course going to get the technician. We're only going to have five technicians like we did before, but ten valets and ten guards. I think that's gonna work out just well. We have a guard being trained up now. Because the valet is actually... Constructing our furniture and scratching his walls, apparently, which means he isn't too loyal. Hmm. Hmm. We also have a quite a... Large number of... Uh, infiltrators in our base, apparently. So, where is our guy? Oh, of course, he's at the beginning of the base. Where we don't need him. Death is all faithful. We can now build an infirmary as well, which is a minute ago. And we will do that. A lot of our guys are getting killed. We're actually gonna go on. Uh, we are going to be on yellow alert from now on, which means that all of our people are going to uh, carry weaponry with them. Uh, that's why I actually built the second infirmary, uh, the second part of the of the armory to kind of have that. We're also going to put in a pharmacy cool thing here. I know they're all busy because we're building a bunch of things and we just lost a few men. We should be okay. We, what we are going to do though is we're going to go into options and to sound options and we're going to uh, lower the sound effects because the uh, beeping is otherwise going to be incredibly annoying. I mean it's going to be annoying anyways but slightly less so if it's set on lower. These body bags here aren't too good for um, for us. I think I think someone should carry them back into the freezer. Anyone. Basically, we had an agent in Mother Russia that we did not see. That's a shame. Oh well. The thing is, you kind of have to jump in and out of the world screen a lot if you want to. Uh, if you want to not lose people while they're on missions, which is difficult to do. <laughs> Especially if you're doing a let's play, because you kind of want to keep it interesting, and if you're jumping into the, the world screen all the time, it kind of doesn't really work. We have our guard now carrying bodies around. But at least everything is being built, and once everything is built, we're going to be okay. Um, here's the new part of the armory. I kind of wanted to make it look like, you know, this is the main part of the armory, like a secure hallway and main part of the armory which is even more secure and then the highest level of security basically behind these doors. I could set these doors on a higher level of security but there's no point in it because the lowest level of security just means that everyone can use the door. The medium one is that only minions and henchmen can use this door and of course your evil self. Level 3 only you can use it. Level 4 only you can use it and it's guarded. It makes no sense. I get, I, it would make sense if like anyone, c your minions and henchmen can use it, but it's also guarded. That would make sense. You, you, no one could use it except for yourself and it's guarded. Just makes no sense because then it just, what's the point? I mean, most of the time you don't move your guy around that much. You just kind of leave him in one place. Don't really move him between rooms or move him into parts of the lair because there's, he, there's nothing he can do, basically. Therefore, it is pointless. Body bags are still being moved. And additional stuff is still being moved. But most of the minions are now gonna go and... Uh, 
grab a some sort of hand weapon like this guy. This guy is arming up. So basically all the minions are now gonna go and grab a gun from one of the gun racks. There are several, there are two uh, different types. We have the handguns, which can be used by, I think, every minion. And then we have the rifle racks, which can only be used by guardsmen. Like this guy, this, for example, he's a guardsman. He kind of looks like a guardsman. Maybe slightly camp guardsman, but still a guardsman. Uh, but they're arming up, so everyone's now got to carry gun guns, which is going to be a lot more effective when uh, combating agents of justice that come into our base in large numbers, that is. And especially later on when they start sending soldiers at us, who are bloody difficult to... But basically, the soldiers are incredibly difficult to defeat, as you would... It, they're kind of meant to go and kill you without you really being able to do anything about it, but... Um, with sufficient out, uh, amounts of guardsmen and people, you can kind of defeat them. Uh, we don't really have a lot of money at the moment. So, we're gonna. I think we're gonna build this up. Ev build everything up that still has to be built up. And then we are going to just collect money for a bit, which I will do off camera because it's a, a boring minious task, just kind of sitting here and waiting for money to flow in. So, I'm gonna do that off camera a bit. And then we are going to actually start building the hotel, which is, I don't know, maybe in this episode, maybe in the next one, I'm not quite sure. But we're going to build up the hotel in kind of this part, which will keep tourists away from the base, but it will also confuse agents of justice. They will actually go into the hotel instead of going into the main base, which is good. And I'll figure out actually a trap to kind of put it in between the hotel and the main base, because I, I do want an entrance for my minions over here. Because it does make sense that they have an entrance over here because it's a bit closer. They don't have to run all through the base and then probably halfway around the island to get to the helipad. Therefore, we are going to build a entrance somewhere over here. It's probably going to be over here and there's going to be a lobby and everything. Because I do have the unofficial patch installed which allows me to do that. I don't like building it outside simply because it's so damn expensive. Like, the hub, the hotel hub costs... What, 80 grand? And it's not even that big. I mean, it is, just not that big. And then additional hotel wings cost way too much money. So, we are going to put in another evil base entrance, which we are going to put in over here. Because we can, somewhere like this. And then we'll put a hotel in. To kind of distract the tourists and distract the agents from our evil beings and make it look like we are a fully legitimate operation and we have nothing to fear and nothing to hide which we do of course we do trying to take over the world I'll I also need to figure out something about the annoying klaxon in the background <laughs> which this one's actually okay if you put it on red alert that's an annoying klaxon so we're gonna put it on um, yellow alert gonna keep it down as much as possible it's actually worse if you have speakers everywhere, which we don't have, because I find that, um, actually we should put another fire extinguisher somewhere up here. I find that if you have, in the armory you can build up security desks, and then security cameras, and security loudspeakers, which I Minions don't know what they do. Minions will defend your base far more effectively if you set up security networks. Build at least one security camera, loudspeaker, and security desk of the same security color to create a security network that will alert your minions to tagged intruders. Huh. It's actually not a bad idea. We might actually do that. We might actually extend the armory a bit more over here somewhere. Kind of put this as security wing and actually do that. I might bother with that um, in one of the next episodes. Definitely not in this episode. We have, we're not, we don't have the money at the moment, <laughs> if nothing else. What else, what else, what else? I do apologize for the previous episode, which came out on Wednesday. That episode, wow, we did a lot! It was edited way, way too much, which I fully realized, and I was alerted to it by the fact that it was edited too much, and I know it was. And it's simply because I rushed it because I had other things to do, and I kind of left it to um, a last minute. So it is 
entirely my fault that it is that it ended up like it was and I do apologize so we are we can have 35 more minions good and uh, I do apologize for that so this episode shouldn't be as edited as the last one was this guy is taking a closer look he's not running where is he going Why are they all running? Yes, you're snooping. And you're helping, aren't you? Providing backup, of course you are. These are agents of justice. They just kind of run around. If they see stuff that provides heat, like... Stuff that we have in the inner sanctum. Like the control desks and the power generators and the holding cells, I think, as well. Yeah, they provide 10 heat. These provide 5 heat. But that, that those are kind of okay. It's like, meh. Uh... But these cold racks, so everything. Ooh, what did I do? Oh, I can remove bodies from certain racks. But some stuff provides heat. Like I think gold actually provides heat as well. So that stuff kind of alerts them that something's going on. And if heat is high enough, they will run home. If you don't get to them first, they will run home, and they will tell their people, and they will send soldiers. And whether different kind other different kinds of agents some of them being infiltrators and burglars which will come and steal the stuff steal stuff from you basically infiltrators i think just shoot your stuff one of our minions got shot actually two of our minions got shot three minions got shot because i wasn't paying attention see this is what happens i we're actually running a bit low on minions at the moment simply because we're training so many up and they're not regenerating fast enough and we don't have the money if we had enough money i would slide this up to 4000 and we would get one every second but we don't which is a bit bad now this guy is still snooping around eventually hopefully a valet will come to it and come to him and be like hey uh shine your shoe shine your shoe he's outsmarting our enemies by shining their shoes um, and you see his attention drops. He's actually dropped down to one. They can drop even more. They can drop down to zero and it, hopefully it does. So another valet will come by, shine his shoes a bit more or talk sweet nonsenses into his ear. And then another one will just simply take him out. But none of the items that we have over here provide heat. Because as you see, they don't have a heat meter. I don't think even these have a heat Oh, these do have a heat meter. They provide a minimum amount of heat. But it's not really that bad, so. We're okay on that front. Has he gone out? Where has he gone? Oh yeah, he's leaving. He's looking to escape, therefore we're gonna untag him, because he's going out anyways. He basically, that means he didn't find anything. Gonna set it to number one, security lock, let him out and set it to number two again. That's how it works. We're still making money. We're still making quite a significant amount of money. 2200 per hour isn't too... Well, per second isn't too bad. Per second? Per minute. That's it. what it is. A minute. So I think what's going to happen between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to probably play a little bit in between. Kind of just sit around, wait for money to, to get up to a certain amount. To a higher enough amount and then in the next episode we're gonna probably build up the hotel and kind of probably get into our first acts of infamy because we did a few acts of infamy by kidnapping a few people but well, maybe another act of infamy somewhere in the world um the next episode is also going to be a lot of waiting around and waiting for heat to go down in a few of these places because it's currently quite high because we did acts of infamy and acts of infamy bring in heat we could put this up but now we're gonna wait for them to regenerate as well and train up minions so there isn't that much of that in an episode because I, I think it's annoying if there's too much of it in an episode we're actually going to move this door right over there lots of doors to confuse our foes but we now have technicians to fix up our stuff and we have valets to confuse our enemies and 
guardsmen to protect that base should anyone attack us. These two guys are coming in, so we're going to take them for weakening. And I think I'm actually going to end the episode there. I don't think there's going to be need for much editing of this episode, simply because we didn't do anything that needed editing on camera and we kind of talked about it. Um, as I said in the previous episode, if you didn't catch that, Evil Genius will now be coming out on Wednesdays and Saturdays. At least that's the plan with Mass Effect doing the same and the rest of the week is Evil is not is Europa Universalis 4. Basically, Europa Universalis 4, the multiplayer is on Mondays and Fridays and the rest of the days. The normal single player campaign we've been doing. But that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, bye bye.